a place for pilgrimage for cycle enthusiasts from miles around. That's according to this bike shop in York. The community interest company is known for its work in encouraging people to follow its namesake and get cycling. As well as selling regular bikes and repairing broken ones, the shop specialises in finding the perfect fit for disabled people. Well, I've got a son who has Downs and autism, so that's part of our motivation. Um, it's really important because people with disabilities have the same rights as we do for mobility, for accessing fresh air, just having fun. So it, it is, it's that, it's, it's getting around, it's independent mobility. It's the fun you have from being out in the community, you know, meeting people, you're not stuck at home. It's the exercise, because people with disabilities, especially in wheelchairs, they don't always get the same exercise, they don't, don't have access to exercise opportunities the way we do, uh, non-disabled people do. Um, in the early days he couldn't steer, didn't think about steering, so we took him out to Aircaster Selby to the old airfield, put him in the middle, and it was a long time before he got to the edge, so that was the start of it. And then these days, you can cycle any tricycle. There's a facility up at the sports village, I think it's twice a week, you can ride bikes there, uh, disability bikes. But Joseph these days rides with me a lot. We have a tandem tricycle uh, with an electric motor. He's 29 now. And he sits on the front and I steer from the back. And everybody thinks he's steering at the front. He's not. He's waving the people and not paying attention. I'm steering from the back. And it's a great machine. It's just like a family car, you know. It's, you can, it's got a big luggage boot at the back. It's electric powered. And we go wherever we want. York's known as one of the country's premier cycling cities. It's got extensive networks of off-road paths and on-road lanes for cyclists of all ages and abilities to enjoy. I mean, cycling is just wonderful. It's the most perfect machine, you know. It's, it's minimal, it's based around the human body. It's just a couple of triangles and a couple of circles. But as soon as you fit it to the human body, it makes you four or five times more powerful. You can go four or five times further. And it's just everything. It is just getting round door to door. It belongs to you. It's independent transport. Gets you places really fast. You know, I can get from Oswaldwick to here to Fulford in about 12 minutes. I don't ride particularly fast. So it's just great. And all these bike paths we've got in York. I came to York when I was 23 and I'm 63 now, 40 years ago, straight from university in Leeds. I used to come here on day trips and I saw all the bikes and I thought, that's where I'm gonna work. So I got my first job in York and I've been here ever since. It's the bike path network, it's the, the, the the, the culture of cycling that we still have. The shop also provides opportunities for apprentices. I've always loved cycling and before I came here I lived in Newcastle and I worked for a bicycle recycling place there, well volunteered for them and when I finished my A-levels I decided I wanted to be a mechanic so I kind of asked around and I asked here and they gave me an apprenticeship. You get to give people a bit more freedom I think which is really nice. It's nice to see people sort of enjoying something that they can do um, and yeah it's just nice it's like a freedom of movement it's people really enjoy it you can just sort of see it so it's good get cycling is holding an event for the community at roundtree park on the 3rd of september and hope to have a wheelie great time anna riley that's tv